Hi, welcome. Thanks for joining me. On this episode of Build Your Own, we're going to build, price, and option a 2018 Ford Expedition. Now, there's a bunch of trim levels. We're going to do the Platinum because I've never looked at the Expedition, and I want to see the best of what this vehicle has. So I want to do the Platinum, and I know that's the top tier. But there's, a, there's other trim levels, and we're going to look at all of them. We're not going to build all of them, but we're going to look at everything. We're going to look at everything. But at the very end, we're going to build price and option a platinum. All right. Now, before we get into all of this, I just want to remind you that if you find this building price review helpful, informative, or entertaining, please like, share, and subscribe to my channel. All right. So for 2018, the Expedition gets important upgrades, including increased engine horsepower and torque, a new 10-speed automatic transmission, a redesigned instrument panel, and a handful of new standalone options and packages. The extended length expedition is now called the Max. Okay, one more thing, one more little thing, and then we'll get going. Now, what I recommend, because like I said, there's a lot of trim levels on this thing. We're going to be building out the Platinum. That's expensive. That might not be where your price point is, but you might be watching this video because you might be interested in some other uh, trim levels. So, like I said, we're going to look at all of them. Here's the deal, though. Unless you want 22-inch rims or a wood grain interior... Uh, and if those aren't priorities to you, then I recommend you get an XLT or the Limited. An XLT with the optional 202A package offers nearly everything necessary for daily driving and long-haul comfort. Moving up to the Limited adds nice touches such as heated second-row seats and an upgraded sound system. The Platinum takes SUV you know, to a whole new level, right? But the XLT and the Limited offer the best blend of features and, you know, cost because, well, at some point, cost is a thing. All right, so that took two minutes. Let's move on. That was the intro. Let's get into this thing. All right, so starts at $51,000. Starts at $51,790. <clears throat> its estimated range uh, EPA is 17 city, 24 highway. It's got seating for seven to eight people, depending on how you reconfigure that third row, right? You could either, I'm sorry, the second row. You can either have the second row as a bench or as two captain chairs. If you have it as a bench, then you have an eight seater. If you got a captain's chairs, you got a seven seater. So, like I was saying, you know, they've got all these models, and we are going to look at all the models. I'm going to let you, we're going to go through all that, but when we get to the building price, we're just going to do that. So, there's the XLT, then there's the XLT Max, right? That's the extended wheelbase. Then there's the Limited and the Limited Max. And then there's the Platinum and the Platinum Max. So there's three trim levels, and each one comes in extended uh, wheelbase. As you can see, the Platinum Max, which, heck, let's just get that. When we get to it, we're going to do the Platinum Max. That starts at $75,000. I wanted to see, you know, I did the Lincoln Navigator. Let me put a link up. And I want to see how nice this is compared to that. Because really, Lincoln is a Ford product too. So I want to see how nice this Link, this Ford is compared to the other Ford. Now, I really need to do the Escalade. I haven't even done that. And I need to do like the Mercedes GL. Like the big dog. I haven't done that one. But let's put these two bad boys together because I think they really butt heads. So those are all the models. Uh, what is this talking about? 360 degree experience. See the interior of Expedition from every angle. Uh, before I even start spinning, I notice, what do I see? It's not romper room. <laughs> um, I see rear seat climate control down here. Is that a digital display that gives you that information? Perhaps, perhaps. Uh, these cup holders look a little far back as if they were meant for the people that are sitting in the second row, right? Look where her hand is. It seems a little far back. Anyway, um, I noticed the screens here. So we'll find out about that rear seat entertainment. We'll find out about it. Uh, they saw room for improvement, so they improved it. The 20X, uh, it's got more hip room in the first and second row than the Tahoe and the Yukon. Wow. And best in class second and third row leg room, surrounded by all the tech your modern life desires. Let's click these modules and see what they're talking about. This looks really nice, by the way. Look at the, look at the wood. Look at the veneer. Look at the uh, diamond stitch or the kind of the cross stitching in the leather. I mean, it's done to a very nice degree. I can't wait to keep get, getting deeper into this thing. All right. So, oh, this is slide two of four. Let's start at number one. Uh, third row comfort. If we hit uh, view details, it'll give us a little bit of information. The standard power fold and power recline th uh, third row seats make even the longest trips relaxing ones for your third row passengers. So 
standard power fold and power recline third row seats. That's cool. Uh, number two, and we won't necessarily read all these details. Think best in class, right? The third, the leg room and all that. Um, here's how you can flip up those seats for, to get in really easy. Three rows, all of them flexible. That includes the uh, second row tip and slide seats that enhance access. So you don't have to come through the middle and walk down the middle of the aisle. You can still flip and <laughs> flip and go, flip and go. All right, so. That was three. Let's go to number four. Uh, even more cargo. Are they going to give us cubic feet? No, they don't give us cubic feet. Uh, but it's got uh, advanced cargo manager. It's got more space behind the third row seats than before. And, and, and the thing's huge. So I'm sure there's plenty of room for your stuff. All right. Um, expedition inside and out. They've got some quick galleries. We're not going to go through the whole gallery. So we'll take the time to go through the gallery a little bit here. Um I, I love the shot of that uh, of the interior, right? See the door trim right there? That's just a really nice touch. Um, that's probably, yeah, that's the Platinum Max looking quite nice. Looking quite nice. I don't know what color that is, but it's a nice color. Um, information. So this is the Sync 3. Uh, this is the Sync 3 system. Oh, by the way, I did a full review just on the Sync 3 and the Sync 3 with Alexa and all that stuff. I'm going to throw a link up for you right now if you want to know more about that because I'm not going to get deep into the Sync 3 system. We're just going to kind of graze over the information that they give us. All right, what do we got? Um, the panoramic uh, Vista roof, self-explanatory. Um, available Sync connected and Ford Pass. Let's get this little snippet. Uh, so we're going to we're gonna uh, get, they do have a spot about this stuff. But basically, this is lock and unlock the doors. You saw it. It said valuable diagnostics, so you could check your engine stuff, like, you know, is it time to change the oil? Stuff like that kind of thing. Uh, that's pretty cool. Um, and then we saw, we already saw that picture. We started off there, didn't we? We did. Uh, they thought of everything the other SUVs didn't. Like what? Uh, Expedition has best-in-class towing and offers available blind spot information system with class-exclusive trailer coverage to help alert you when a vehicle is detected in the blind spot or alongside the trailer. That's tight. That is tight, actually. Uh, even more confidence, the 2018 Ford Expedition has more driver assist features than any vehicle in its class. We'll get up on the safety, so we'll find out about all the features that it offers, and we're, get, we're optioning out the Platinum. So I wanted to do that because I want to make sure that the one I get has every feature. All right. Make yourself comfortable. Third row passengers. Yep, we know that. And efficient performance. Uh, best in class. Uh, fuel economy ratings. All right. Is there anything else? Nope. Uh, let's see. Best in class torque. 480 pound foot of torque. 104.6 cargo space. Cubic feet of cargo space. And 9,300 pounds of towing capacity. It's a big vehicle. And a lot of capabilities. Uh, we're going to look at the features and all that stuff, but we're going to do that after we go over this whole overview page, okay? There's a method. There's a method. I want to go over the whole overview page, and then we'll go through a few more modules, so that way we make sure that we learn everything we need to learn about this expedition. All the features, the specs, packages, all of it. Then we'll build in price. All right, so what's better than Platinum? <laughs> expedition Platinum. Uh, we're going to, let's explore the platinum right now though, because where we're going to go with the rest of this stuff, we're not going to circle back to this. So let's find out what makes the platinum explorer, or I'm sorry, expedition, um, a platinum. All right. So, uh, you can see they got the whole fam in here this time. And yeah, look, remember I call that out about that being a display for probably the rear seat climate and or rear seat, uh, yeah, climate. And it is. Now they have it on. Uh, and again, you can see where their elbows are. These cup holders are certainly probably meant for these second row occupants, I would think. Look how the seat comes up to where you got to rest for your elbow. It's not just straight back. It curves up right there. Nice truck. Uh, the Platinum model sets the highest standards for exhibition, ex expedition, expedition, expedition style, convenience, and comfort. Enjoy leather trimmed heated seats and ventilated front bucket seats. Powerful third row seat, power deployable running board, boards, panoramic Vista roof. Check this out. B&O. That stands for Bang & Olufsen Play 
premium audio system. If you don't know, my friends, that normally only comes in the German cars. The Audi, the Mercedes, the BMW. They've moved on to Burmesters, and but some of them still use BNO. But that's big league stuff right there. Uh, enhanced active noise control. I mean, honestly, the BNO is when I saw that, that's when I knew I wanted to do the platinum. Um, so it's got the Bliss with the cross traffic alert, voice activated nav. It's got the Sirius traffic uh, and travel link sync three. Uh, pl uh, the platinum comes with sophisticated continuously controlled dampening and 22 inch polished aluminum wheels. Things loaded. I mean, it's all the money, it's $75,000. But it's easily as much tech as a Mercedes or the Cadillac Escalade, which, you know, is going to be $100,000. And I don't think this one's going to cost that much. So seating flexibility. Let's come back. Where are you going? All right. Uh, full flat second row seating, right? Can provide third row passengers with a limousine-like experience. Uh, come back one more time. With available sync, connect. Passengers can enjoy a uh, Wi-Fi hotspot, 4G LTE, right? Ten devices, it said. I caught it before it spun away. Uh, the all-new uh, Expedition is available with spacious tip and slide, right? We already learned about the tip and slide seating. We know about the panoramic roof. Uh, tell us a little bit about the exterior styling. Um, it's got a confident grill, aluminum body. It doesn't say anything about it having any special exterior styling, because it's a platinum, okay? Because it's a platinum. So that's fine. The interior, the interior is very nice. It says it's got wood grain appliques, leather trimmed heated and ventilated bucket seats uh, that help relieve leg and lower back fatigue during long drives. Uh, it's got a center console and media bin door, plus a leather wrapped heated steering wheel add to the premium experience. Quiet cabin. Uh, the Expedition interior features enhanced active noise control that works like noise-canceling headphones. It emits sound waves that cancel out unwanted sounds in the cabin, such as engine, transmission, and wind. It's really nice with the black interior. I think I like it with the black interior, and I like that wood applique. They didn't say veneer. They said applique. And boy, that sure does look very BMW-ish, that I drive. We'll probably get a bit. Wow, look at the parcel shelf on that. Wow, they weren't messing around when they said it was smart. Advanced cargo management system. Well, speaks for itself, doesn't it? Pretty nice. All right, let's go back to the overview page. All right, so we, we learned about a little bit about the Platinum. We learned, well, what I learned, what I learned was that the Platinum does come with a lot of extra stuff. The big wheels, uh, the deployable running boards that come out on the side and, you know, all that good stuff. But the body doesn't have any different features, you know, like, for instance, on some of the Cadillacs, when, when, you, when you get a platinum Cadillac, you know, the grill will be different and stuff like that, you know, to get a special grill or the wheels will be. Well, I guess these wheels are special, but you know what I'm saying? The exterior, the body, they didn't say anything about that. All right. So technology for the modern age. We're going to explore the technology, uh, the Wi-Fi hotspot, 10, 10 devices with a range of 50 feet. Wireless charging pad, available USB ports in every row, and more driver assist features, right, than any other vehicle, right? We're going to explore the technology. We're not going to do it on this uh, overview page. Uh, but it's got a couple of uh, a couple of snippets here for information, and we're going to definitely uh, click on those and find out what's what. All right, so Wi-Fi hotspot, that's pretty self-explanatory. We know 10 devices powered by AT&T LT, uh, LTE. 10 devices, 50 feet away. Got that. Uh, making trailering easy. All right. Now, what does that give us? Uh, this is the Pro Trailer Backup Assist. Simply rotate a knob left or right for the direction you want the trailer to back up. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Uh, there's some USBs in the wireless charging pad right there. That's self-explanatory. Like the stitching. Makes it very upscale on, the, um, on everything. Everybody's really got their game up. Ford plus a max Alexa, a match made in tech heaven. They say that on every one. All right, so like I said, I'm not going to get into the whole Ford and Alexa and all that. I I, I already gave you a link to, to get you over to that information. But this uh, brings the capability of the Amazon Alexa from your home to the road, right? So they they pair these things up. So I guess that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. All right, um, let's let's hide this and move on. Uh, we know that the Max, the Max is just about extension, right? 
Let's find out a little bit more about the Max because it's one of those tabs that we're not going to double back for. So let's find out about the Max, find the extended wheelbase. All right, so they just got this little snippet of information. Basically, the, the big takeaway is that the Max can accommodate it basically almost another 17 cubic feet of cargo on the inside, right? And so it's, it's just big. It's big, right? That's going to be the size of your, you know, your, your full-size Suburban. Right. And your long wheelbase Escalade and all that other stuff. So that's all they really had to say about the Max. Let's go back to the overview page. OK. And then let's see. They got a video gallery. We're not going to watch these little snippets that are what? Basically commercials. Right. Designed from the ground up. Um, yeah. So they're going to have the chief engineer talking about stuff. That That's all cool stuff. But for us, we're not going to get into that. It is a nice. Here's the platinum shown. Uh, and it is a nice looking vehicle, isn't it? Guess what? There's colors down here. Uh, here's blue. Here's what do they call that? Stone gray. Looks brown to me. Uh, white gold. That's very attractive. I like that a lot. A lot, a lot. That think that was that one color that was pulling that boat. And I was wondering what color that was. That was the white gold. Then they got the magnetic. That's black, right? Um, a ruby red, the white platinum, also attractive. Shadow black. Oh, I guess magnetic is gray. I'm sorry. Then you got the shadow black, the silver. Then you got your regular white, the Oxford white. And then I guess the platinum only comes with the light interior, but at least the rugs are black. I think we're going to do, I'm going to go, I'm going with white gold. We're going to go white gold when we get to that point. We're not going to the building price yet. Uh, connect like uh, never before. This goes into the Ford Pass. So, like I said, I'm not going to delve into this, but what it does is it tracks your vehicle's location, remote access. You can remotely access features such as you can start it, lock, unlock. You can check your vehicle status, even including how much gas you got in the dang thing. That's super cool. Then there's Sync 3. We already talked about that. But they give us a little more information here. What is basically Sync 3 is is the is the huge big tech package for the Ford, right? That gives you Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. Um, well, they don't say Android Auto. I don't see it. Oh, available sync. No, they don't say it. So maybe they don't have it. Uh, you can use Siri with your Apple CarPlay. You can make calls. Uh, you can listen to voicemail. You can send, read, and reply to text messages. You can even access your favorite songs and playlists. Apple Maps. That's all cool stuff. All cool stuff. That's with the sync. The sync gives you that. And then they have the whole with the Alexa deal. All right. So we've gotten through the overview page. Let's get over to the features and go through, oh, just a few modules, gather a little bit more information. Then we can jump over to the build and price portion of this thing. Okay. So we got four feature modules to go through. We're going to go through design, <clears throat> sorry, <clears throat> excuse me, performance, capability, and technology. We're going to go through these four snippets or these four uh, feature categories, really, and then we'll do the building price. So here we are at design, uh, room with a view, inside and out. Um, let's see. What are they telling us? Seating for up to eight occupants plus loads of cargo room, right? It's This is their full-size version, um, right? This is where we got kicked to before, 16.9 cubic feet. Uh, I guess we were kind of over here. You know what? We were kind of over here, weren't we? We were. We were. Because when it kicked us over to the Platinum page, this was that page. Let's get out of this page. Let's come over to Performance. I'm not even going to edit that out. <laughs> let's come over to Performance. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. Uh, confident Performance meets a comfortable ride. All right. The 3.5 liter EcoBoost. It's the standard engine because they knew how important performance is. Full-size vehicle. Right, 10-speed automatic transmission. Uh, it's got continuously controlled dampening. That's the suspension, the shock absorbers. Uh, are they going to give us some information about this thing, like horsepower? Uh, they're telling us that it does what? It's got surprising responsiveness. Uh, it's got direct injection to ha help maximize power from every drop of fuel. And it's got a twin air-to-air -air intercooled turbochargers. Twin, two of them. Delivering a surge of on-demand power. Well, how much? How much? Uh, independent rear suspension. Tell us about it. Tell us about it. Number one of two slides. 
the 2018 Ford Expedition with its independent rear suspension offers go anywhere capability. They didn't really show much, but we'll take it. I guess that's all we got. Then they're going to show the third row. Uh, and again, and so that's the fold flat, right? The limousine like experience. All right. So a lot of it's kind of redundant. Let's read up here if we can find out a little more information up here. I think we can. They say when the engineers started developing this thing, uh, they decided that uh, they were going to do away with the solid rear axle, which is what I think these things normally had. And they went with the independent multi-link rear suspension, like, well, like the German sedans or SUVs and like, well, probably everybody else. They chose the IRS, right? That's what they call theirs, independent rear suspension. They don't even factor in the M. <laughs> Why not IMRS? Anyway, they chose the IRS because it lets each rear wheel handle road conditions on its own, right? Independent rear suspension. It's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, continuously co controlled dampening. All right, so... This so it's got sensors, a suite of electronic sensors continuously monitor 46 different motions. All right. And then the system responds in milliseconds to that, to that input, to that data to help keep you confidently in control. So the, the that's the new thing. That's the new thing now is for suspension to constantly be adjusting itself to the road and actually looking up the road. All right. So good stuff here. It's going to definitely be. Uh, Let's see, what does it say? It's standard on the Platinum and optional on the Limited. So remember back in the beginning, I was telling you that either the XLT or the Limited is going to be your thing. Well, if you want to have this continuously controlled dampening suspension, then you're going to want to get the Limited over the XLT because it does they don't offer it, right? Then you get these other settings. They got the settings for the suspension, uh, comfort, normal, and sport, right? That's pretty cool. Uh, you got the 10-speed select shift automatic transmission with tow and haul mode. Um, platinum performance uh, with auto stop start technology. Can you turn that off? Let's hope you can. They don't give us horsepower, but we're going to take a look at specs. You get an electronic limited slip differential. And that's to improve acceleration on wet, icy, muddy, or otherwise unstable road surfaces. Uh, this helps by reducing wheel slip. Available in the heavy-duty trailer tow and FX4 off-road packages, along with a variety of beefed-up features. Okay, cool. Let's go to capability next. Let's do that next. And let's see, designed to do more. Like haul lots of cargo when called upon to do so. 9,300 pounds worth. Or towing a boat. Um, speaking of boat, here's a boat being towed. Best in class towing. Okay, finally, some numbers. Here we go. 375 horse. That was the number I was looking for. We knew the torque because they are. Did they say 480 on one of those? I thought they said 480 on one of those. They did say 480. Let me show you where. I'm going to take a quick dip back over to the Ford site. This was on that home page where they threw the asterisk up there too. Now, I guess you can get, what, another 10 pound feet of torque if you use 93 octane fuel, right? Is that the deal? Because they say 470 right here. That's a discrepancy right there. But nonetheless, I caught it. Now, you, if you watch this video, now you know it. 9,300-pound towing capacity. Got to get the heavy-duty trailer package or that FX3 off-road package. Says the Expedition features trailer sway control, working in conjunction with advanced track and art roll stability control. Available Bliss. That's their blind spot information system with trailer coverage. Uh, then it's a, they have an available pro trailer backup. So basically if you want to tow with your Ford, if you want to tow with your Ford, they got stuff, they got stuff to help you tow better and safer. And a, seemingly a lot of it, um, FX. Okay. Here's that off-road suspension package. What all comes on that? That includes electronic limited slip, uh, premium off-road shocks, two speed automatic four wheel drive with neutral towing capability. Heavy-duty radiator, underbody fuel tank protection, skid plates, 18-inch magnetic metallic uh, paint cast, aluminum wheels. That was a long one. All-terrain owl tires, platform chrome-plated running boards, front and second row floor liners, and the FX4 badge. Where does that badge go? I don't see it anywhere. I think I would want this FX4. I said FX3, didn't I? 
I, I would want the FX4 pack before I said that. I want the FX4 package. I think I think we want that if we if we can get it on the platinum. Uh, pro trailer backup assist. We already know this. Uh, so this is kind of just going over. Well, what's this one? Let's let's go back. Uh, this one's just reiterating stuff we already know. This one's uh, reiterating stuff that we already know because we already read one about the we already read one about the um, about turning the knob to uh, change the direction that you want the trailer to go. So we already knew about that. And then this last one, this is the rear view camera, all right, or by provides added driver confidence and awareness when backing a hitched co uh, conventional trailer by allowing the driver to steer the trailer instead of steering the vehicle. Oh, okay, yeah, pro trailer as backup assist. So it's just finishing the whole thought. That's a pretty cool feature. Now, I know I don't have anything to tow, and anything that I, normally whenever I build out something that, that has a tow feature capability, I normally just breeze on over it. But for this one, I think if it's just a box I can tick, I'm going to get this because it's just cool, and you never know. Cargo capability. All right, so. Uh, the Expedition offers exceptional cargo space when you need it. A full 104.6 feet behind the first row of seating. 63.6 .6 cubic feet behind the second row. And almost 21 cubic feet behind the third row. That's big. Now, if you go for the max, you get that uh, extended wheelbase. That adds another 17, almost 17 cubic feet total, right, for a maximum of 121 cubic feet. And then you can do 4x2 and 4x4 configurations. You can take whatever you're carrying just about anywhere. I know that's right. That sounds about right. This is a nice vehicle. I like it. Terrain management system. What's this all about? Customize your drive for any road condition. The terrain management system allows the driver to select from up to seven preset modes for optimized driving dynamic. Okay, cool. Wet, gravel, snow. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. Um, hill start assist. Hill descent control. We already know the deal with this stuff, right? What's the deal? Uh, keep your vehicle's power and capability under control, right? So when you're going down a hill, it won't let you go down too fast. And uh, hill start assist, it won't let you roll back, right? Uh, let's see. Let's, on four-wheel drive models, you can activate standard hill descent control so the braking system automatically engages as, you need, as needed to help keep you in control while descending a steep grade. So you can just have that on, right? That's pretty cool. All right. Um, now, what's this all about? The 360-degree camera. I just, like, skipped right on over that heading, didn't I? Uh, with split view display. Uses four cameras, one in the grill, tailgate, and under each of the side view mirrors, enabling you to see all the sides of the vehicle on the 8-inch color LCD. This is really useful when maneuvering out of tight spaces or trails. It includes front and rear washers for maximum visibility. That's pretty cool. That is really, really cool. Well, I guess I've read all that, so we probably don't have to. Um, we don't have to look through that. Integrated trailer brake um, and sway control, right? That's pretty cool. This is where it's located, basically right under the push start there. Um, let's go on to technology, and I think that's our last module. All right, let's see what they got to say for technology. So let's see. We already know about the Sync Three. What we didn't know is it gives us six USB ports and a center console wireless charging pad. Uh, available 12-speaker B&O uh, system with a dual uh, headrest rear seat entertainment system make even long trips. And a dual headrest. It, do it doesn't include, the Bang & Olufsen does not include that. It said and. And, not, you know. Okay, so driver assist technologies, right? They keep saying the blind spot. Yes, we got it. Uh Active park assist, lane keep assist, adaptive cruise control with stop and go. I guess I should start saying that <clears throat> these are the standard suite. It's the standard safety suite. And not to detract from Ford, everybody's offering it, but it's good to see that it's here. All right. They got the standard stuff. It's the technology that you expect to see. Right. We already know about the Wi Fi, uh, the, ba the Bang and Olufsen. It's got 12 speakers. It's standard on limited models, right? Standard on limited models. Wow. Wow. All right. Yet another reason to get the limited over the XLT if you want a good sound system. Very cool. Very, very cool. Uh, double headrest rear seat entertainment. Now, can you stream like YouTube or is this like 
Yeah, stream from a mobile device. That's that's what I wanted to know, you know, because it's 2018. You got to be able to stream your devices and all that stuff to these to these units. Otherwise, what's the point? All right, so this one can do it. Uh, Sync three Apple Car. There it is, Android Auto. They didn't say it on the other on the other screen. So there we go. Now we know it. It says it's got capacitive touchscreen. What does that mean? If you don't know, uh, swipe capability. Uh, capacitive means when this guy touches that, he's going to get like a little vibration from the screen. It's like a positive confirmation that you pressed it, right? That's what ca uh, capacitive touchscreen means. Um, so it's got all the tech we want. Uh, we already saw that, the Ford Pass, uh, navigation with Sirius XM traffic and Sirius XM traveling. Now, what's this all about? Now, this is includes a five-year complimentary. This is five years. That's a long time. Sirius XM traffic and travel link trial subscription. Global positioning, right? GPS technology is combined with 3D mapping and provides voice guided turn by turn directions. Now, is it going to be better than using the map on your Apple phone? Probably not, but it's still cool. Uh, they give you other stuff like gas station locations, prices, sports scores, schedules, movie theater locations, show listings and times, all that good stuff. Uh, the six USBs and the wireless charger. They already said that. And back to design. So we've already been there. Let us go to the building price now. Let's get over there to the building price. Okay, so <clears throat> we're about to go do the building price. And the way this is going to work is, like I said, we're only going to build out in price the Platinum. Okay, but we're going to look at all the standard features of, of the other of the other two uh, trim levels. Okay, really fast. Before we do it, the XLT, right? The XLT starts at 51,790, right? If I hit the key features, if I hit details, then it's going to tell <laughs> 15 cup holders. There's only one vehicle that I've reviewed that has more than 15 cup holders, and that is the 2019 Subaru Ascent. It has 19 cup holders. I'm going to put a link up. You got to see that video. It's a pretty cool, pretty cool SUV. All right, so these are the model highlights, just FYI. Cargo management system. I'm not going to read all this stuff. So if you want to read this stuff, just pause the video so you can catch that read in. Second row, uh, manual reclining. Take note of that. Here's other standard features, right? And if there's anything that jumps out to me, and I'm only going to do this once. Do we want to chat with anybody? No, we don't. I'm only going to show these standard features once because these standard features are going to be standard for all the vehicles, right? And then it, they just add to it. All right, so these are all the standard features. There's that hill start assist, hill descent control, right? Anything that pops out to me, I'm just going to review camera, backup assist grid line, standard equipment, um, the sync, not the sync three. That standard is the sync, not the sync three. You get the smart charging USB ports. Uh, overhead console, audio jack. I don't see Apple CarPlay. You got to get Sync 3 and all that to do Apple CarPlay and streaming audio and all that other stuff. Uh, this is Equipment Group 200A. All right. Okay. So that's that's everything. All right. So that's the XLT. And then the Limited, It's it, we're just going to look at the highlight features. We're going to only look at the highlight features, the Wi-Fi hotspot. So the Limited, you get you into the Wi-Fi hotspot. You get some 20-inch wheels. You get the hands-free foot-activated lift gate, all right? Those are the updates, right? And, and it's incremental, right? It's 51790 for the base model XLT. Oh, I'm sorry. That's that's the max being shown. And the limited, well, I guess it's another 10000 for the limited. And you're going to get a lot. But where we're going is we're going to the platinum. And we're going to do it in the max. Let's go max. And we're going to get the platinum max. So I guess I guess those were different prices, 54000 base model if you're going to get the max on the XLT, 65000 on Unlimited if you're going to long wheelbase. We're going to get the Platinum. Let's look at the details right here real quick. <clears throat> we get that panoramic uh, roof. We got that Wi-Fi hotspot. We got the LED fog lights. This thing's loaded. This thing's loaded. Let's configure it. Let's configure it. 77000 it jumps to. I already told you we're doing white gold. Let me slide this down a little bit so you can see it. Is it going to show us the other photos or no? There it is. That's a good looking truck. It's all right. They need to make that exhaust tip. Those things have been ugly forever. Same with the Navigator. They're still ugly. They need to fix that. They could do a better job than that. They could do a better job than that. Anyway. <clears throat> anyway. Powertrain. 
We've got the V6 with auto stop start technology. Do we need to hit the information button on this? Yeah, real quick. Uh, this is going to give you that 400, 400 horsepower, 480 if you run 93. Well, you can guarantee if I had one, I'd be running 93 octane all the time. I want maximum power. I would suggest you do the same. Uh, then you got your 10-speed select shift automatic transmission. That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Um, is this your manual shifting plus and minus if you want to get sporty with it? Uh, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, very cool, though. It's 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 neat looking. Um, then you've got the 4x2. And then, we of course, we want four-wheel drive. For 77000 they still don't throw that in? That That's messed up. It's messed up. $80,000, now we have a 4x4. Um, this package is included that gives package 600 B is included. That gives us, oops, I didn't want to look at all of that. That gives us, let's just look at this, the 22 inch polished wheels with the better suspension. That's the CCD suspension, the front row multi-contour seats with active motion, uh, enhanced active park assist and the 360 degree camera with split view. All right. That's included with this one. Uh, the cargo package is included. What's in that? Uh, advanced cargo manager, roof manager, and roof rail crossbars. That's right up here, right? But you knew that. Uh, driver assist package. Let's see what's all in that. All right. Uh, okay. Outfitted to help you be better. All right. Adaptive cruise control with stop and go. Lane keep system. Pre-collision assist with pedestrian detection and forward collision warning. Uh, auto high beam headlamps and rain sensing wipers. Right for the front only, the back windshield doesn't, or the back one does not do that. Um, heavy duty uh, trailer tow package. Was this the package that I wanted? Uh, heavy duty radiator, pro trailer backup assist. That's what I was into right there. Uh, integrated trailer brake brake controller. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, that all looks good. Now, if I'm not using the package, is the ugly hitch going to be sticking out, or can I still keep that covered up? I hope I can keep it covered up. But let's just get this. It's fifteen hundred dollars. I think it's a smart option. It's a smart option. We're at eighty grand. This thing's gonna be less than a navigator. It's gonna be less than a navigator. Uh, Three sixty degree camera. Got it. Adaptive cruise control with stop and go. Got it. Advanced security pack. What is that? We got it. But what is it? Vehicle inclination intrusion uh, sensors. Secure lock. Passive anti theft system. Got it. Uh, auto high beam headlights. Got it. Uh, the blind spot bliss system. Got it. Enhanced active park assist, parallel park, park out assist, reverse perpendicular parking, forward and reverse and side sensing systems. Ooh, I'm glad we got that. Um, foot activated hands-free power lift gate. Got it. Intelligent access. What does that mean? It's standard on four. We don't even know what that is, though. Okay. But we got it. Lane keep. Got it. LED headlamps and fog lights. Got it. Panoramic. Got it. Remote start, we got that. Rain sensing wipers, yep. Uh, we got the right we're in. We're probably supposed to have the 22 inch wheels. Okay, so we do have two. Two. Uh, we can we can we can change. We can put black leather. We got black leather in there now. What's the medium soft ceramic look like? It's kind of a track. Let's do the medium soft ceramic. I would normally never pick that over black, but maybe I'm just changing. I, it just looks good. It just looks good. And then with the white gold and blah, 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 it's the sum of all the parts. Let's go with the medium soft ceramic. Uh, it's got a household volt, <laughs> a power outlet, ambient lighting. We got the uh, available sync connect and forward pass. Do we want the dual headrest rear seat entertainment system for two grand? Yep. Might as well. Are they going to show it? Yep. There it is. Uh, dual zone. Yep. Uh, first and second row floor liners. Yep. We want them. Heated and ventilated seats, got it. Heated second row seats, got it. Steering wheel heated, got it. Yep. Uh, everything's included, included, included. Reverse, uh, Reversible cargo mat, what does it look like? They don't show it. Add it. Are they going to put it back there? No, they didn't. All right. Um, what else? Wireless charging pad, we got all that. The BNO, we got all this stuff. Seat types. Yep, we're gonna do the but. Oh, we want bucket seats. We want bucket seats. That says it's included, but it doesn't show that in the photo. So we're gonna assume that it's got the right thing. So we're not gonna worry. Leather trim, second row bucket seats. Leather trim, second row bucket seats. There we go. Is that gonna change for? There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right. 
Um, second row, 40, 20, 40, folding, folding, tip and slide seats. Yet we want that. So they're power. What do we have to remove? No, we're not removing that. We're not going to remove that at all. Uh, powerful. Yeah, okay. So it's got that part, whatever the other thing was. Okay. Summary. Let's go there. Eighty, Almost $85,000. Still about $20,000 cheaper than probably a Cadillac Escalade and really the Lincoln Navigator, honestly. The Lincoln Navigator is pretty expensive too. Um, what do we got here? What do we got? Uh, packages. Nothing in packages because, well, it came with everything. There was nothing. Oh, well, total options forty four hundred dollars, and then the rest of it was just the particulars. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go ahead and print this off so you can download this build summary. I'm going to put it in the description below. So if you found the build and price, if you like the spec on this vehicle, then you can download this and well do whatever you want with that PDF. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up. I really appreciate you watching. If you made it to the end, you're a rock star. You're super awesome. Please like, share, and subscribe. I really appreciate it.